A few demonstrators were on hand outside the UN War Crimes Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia as Radovan Karadzic finally began his defense. The wartime Bosnian Serb leader is charged with the worst genocide in Europe since the Holocaust. Prosecutors say Karadzic orchestrated a campaign to destroy the Muslim and Croat communities to try and create an ethnically pure Serb state during the violent breakup of Yugoslavia. Karadzic said Serbs were merely trying to protect their homes and property. I don't want to defend myself by saying that I wasn't important or that I didn't occupy an important post while I was serving my people, nor will I shift the blame to someone else. I will defend that nation of ours and their cause, which is just and holy. And in that way, I shall be able to defend myself too and my nation. Judges and prosecutors listened intently to Karadzic's opening statement, in which he claimed Islamic fundamentalists had been seeking to lay claim to all of Bosnia. Their aim was to have Bosnia 100% for them, and that was the basic way in which they were thinking. Bosnia is ours. The Serbs are guests here, and God knows the Croats too. Karadzic, now 64 years old, is being tried on two counts of genocide and nine other counts of murder, extermination, persecution, forced deportation, and the seizing of 200 UN hostages. Prosecutors say the campaign he helped orchestrate culminated in the massacre of some 8,000 Muslim males in the summer of 1995 in Srebrenica. Karadzic is representing himself at his trial. He boycotted the opening four months ago, saying he needed more time to study more than a million pages of documents. His legal aide said Monday he submitted an appeal against the latest ruling denying Karadzic a delay until June. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.